I think it's quite likely that the CBDC will arrive and it will also be the subject of the currency reset at the same time. Um, at some point, the, the, well, the world is going to go into a crisis or a country is going to go into a crisis. It might be the UK, it might be Italy, it might even be the United States, but something is going to happen. Things are very, very taut in the financial world at the moment. Um, when that happens, I think they will close the banks. You'll wake up on a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday morning and say and hear the news that they've shut the banks, they're not going to open on Monday. And then by Monday evening or Tuesday, you'll get the announcement that we're having a new currency, the CBDC, and don't worry, it'll be one-to-one -one against the old currency. Uh, but there'll be some restrictions on your ability to convert your old money into the new money. So if you're poor and you have a small bank account, it'll be converted one-to-one -one straight away. Um, so will, uh, And you'll probably even find that you get a free gift from the government to get kickstart the system. Maybe three or five thousand pounds will be given to every citizen gratuitously to kickstart the system in the new CBDC. But if you have a hundred thousand or a million in the bank, you're going to be told, yes, it's one to one, but you're going to have to wait to convert it to the new currency. Now, wait means never. We all know that. Uh, but they won't tell you that. They'll say it's a temporary suspension because we're in the middle of a crisis. The people are rioting in the streets. And we need to calm the system. So here's some free money, everybody. Go and enjoy yourselves. And by the way, the rich can't convert their money for a while, uh, but they'll be able to do so later. So if you happen to own Apple bonds, they'll be de denominated in the old dollars. You won't be able to, it'd still be old dollars. You won't be able to convert those old dollars until you've got the cash. But when you get the cash, you'll need permission to do it. And you're not going to get that permission. It'll be exactly like we had in Britain back uh, before 1975 when we had the, um, um, the exchange controls. You needed permission from the Bank of England. I mean, I, I remember if I, when I traveled abroad the first time, I was allowed to take 50 pounds with me abroad. Didn't go very far. No, and... Uh... Um, yeah, sorry, go ahead.